I understand you have uh, an interesting object for us to look at. Yeah, I believe I own the pistol that Jesse James was wearing when he got assassinated by Bob Ford. It's got Jesse James' signature on the inside of these grips, and they are bloodstained. We're about to sit down with Wendy. She's our handwriting expert, and she's going to be able to tell us if one of these five signatures is really Jesse James. Wendy's job would get her burned at the stake 200 years ago. She can look at a person's handwriting and tell you pretty much everything you want to know. So there are there are consistencies, even among the, the little variations that everyone has for each signature, there are consistencies that you can look for. Right, because they're coming from the subconscious mind. So those things, it's, it's not necessarily what you're thinking of doing as you're writing. It's the things that come out that you're not thinking about and not noticing. So would you, would you attribute that to muscle memory? Some of it's muscle memory. It's, uh, it's neurology. So it's a matter of what we're looking at in the handwriting. It's, it's essentially brain writing. We're looking at the patterns that are already instilled in the brain through repetition coming out onto the paper. So it's something that they wouldn't even be conscious that they're doing. It's just something that they don't really control. Yeah, essentially, your handwriting is a fingerprint of yourself. So so everyone has their own little idiosyncrasies and their own patterns of writing. Let me ask you this. If somebody faked it or were attempting to fake a signature, what would indicate to you that that was not authentic? Uh, there are a number of things, again, that we're looking at, whether we're looking at the length of the strokes within the letter. How does the baseline of the writing look or the bottom of the letters? Is it straight? Is it bouncy? All those different things we look at. And when you have enough handwriting, you can make a determination, again, what the patterns of writing are by a certain individual. And somebody who's attempting to forge that isn't going to be able to duplicate all those patterns. If somebody's trying to sign somebody else's name as if it was that actual person, they're not going to know the subconscious parts of the handwriting. So they're not going to be able to insert those into the handwriting. Okay, awesome. Wow, fascinating.